Windows 11 is as easy as it gets when it comes to installing and using USB devices, but sometimes they may not work as intended. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix USB port issues on Windows 11. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, use the device manager by pressing Windows key plus X, clicking on the device manager option, and we're going to fix any power issues that might be keeping USB ports from working. So scroll down the list to find your USB uh, controllers. So uh, as you can see, I have quite a bunch of them, but if I go to USB controllers right here, and then I click on my root hub, right click, head over to properties, go to power management, and make sure you uncheck the allow this computer to turn off devices to save power because sometimes your PC or Windows might disable USB ports to save power and you might be trying to use them which is why they're not being detected. So make sure you uncheck this option, go ahead, click OK and uh, you should be good to go. Another fix that you can try out while you're in device manager is to completely reinstall these drivers in the first place and that should fix any problems you're facing. So once again, what we're going to do is zoom in, right click, click on properties, head over to driver and you will see an update driver button right here. Go ahead and click on it and then let Windows automatically search for drivers. I have the best drivers already installed, but that might not be the case with you. So make sure that you have the best drivers available. If updating your drivers does not work, you can also go ahead and disable or uninstall the device, restart your system, and that should get them back up and running again. If these problems haven't fixed the issue for you, what you can also try is to run an SFC command. Now to do this, press the start menu uh, and search for command prompt. What we're going to do is that we're going to launch it as an administrator. So give it the permissions that it needs and once you're there type in sfc slash scan now and press enter so this command will scan all of your system for any broken files or driver issues that there might be existing there and will automatically download any files that it needs to get your system back up and running Another thing that you can try is looking for Windows updates. So press Windows key plus I to open the Windows settings menu. And in here, head over to the Windows update section. Now, as you can see that I have the latest updates already installed, but you can manually check for them by clicking on this button just to make sure that you have the latest Windows updates available. A lot of the times developers do fix issues in Windows updates for both devices, drivers and Windows itself. So just making sure that you're on the latest version of Windows is a great way of uh, not running into these kinds of errors. If nothing has worked so far uh, and assuming the issue is software related, you are going to have to reset your Windows system. Now you can do this by uh, opening Windows settings, heading over to system. And then in here, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see the recovery option. Now you have a couple of options here, so you can fix problems using Windows Update, which means basically you're going to reinstall the current version of Windows that you have on your PC while preserving all of your apps, files and different settings by just clicking this reinstall now button. If you don't want to do that, you can also go ahead and reset your PC by clicking this button, which uh, gives you the option of either wanting to keep your files or remove everything and start afresh. Once you're done with all of these steps, your USB ports should be back up and running. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.